Hi, I'm just going to give you a quick run through on how to install Esprino on this board here. This board is a um, STM32 F4 discovery board. These are about £12 or $20 from um, your, your local electronic component stockist. So, um, the first thing we have to do is to um, follow the instructions on here. If you click on download, you can then uh, download this version of Esprino from there and you also need to follow the instructions for flashing onto the STM32 discovery boards which involves going to this website um, clicking on design support here and then scrolling down to where it says STM32 ST link utility and just loading this and saving it so now after we've done this, um, in your downloads folder you should have um, these two files, you should have Esprino with whatever the version is and the ST-Link utility. You need to open the ST-Link and install that. I've already done it on this computer but it's just a simple installer. Um, you then need to right click on Esprino and say extract all. This will create a directory here which has the Esprino files in. So now we'll uh, we'll start the ST-Link utility, which is under ST Microelectronics. And now we'll plug it in. Um, you need the standard USB type cable for this. Um, so what we're actually looking at is to plug it into this um, this connector at the top, the one that's opposite the headphone jack. So plug this in wait for a little while for Windows to detect it then we click Target Connect and if you're lucky it will come up and display all this um, you click File Open and then you navigate to your Esprino directory and you choose the file for the board that you have we have the F4 Discovery so we're using that click Open and then we'll click Target program and verify. Um, I won't do this now because it takes a few minutes um, but you literally press that and then it'll come up with a window like this. You click start and then you wait um, and then after that you can shut all this down you can um, then plug in your board via the other connector this connector is a uh, the kind of USB that you get to uh, to charge your phone with now. So I have this. Um, it would say installing driver, but again I've plugged this in before. Um, so all we actually have to do now is go to control panel, click on view devices and printers, scroll down and we'll find this thing which says ST Microelectronics Virtual Com Port brackets COM11. Now uh, COM11 is actually the thing that you need to remember here. Um, now we need a uh, serial terminal. Sometimes these come with Windows, there'll be one called Hyper Terminal in Windows XP but um, unfortunately Windows 7 Windows 8 don't have them so we need to download something called PuTTY. That's P-U-T-T-Y. If you go there you click download um, and then you just download putty.exe um, I've just put them on the desktop but you can download the installer actually and, and do it properly so now if that's down you click on putty you click serial on the right hand side there and you change com1 to com11 or whatever you saw was in your control panel you click open and now you get an empty window but if you hit enter something's shown. And in fact if you hit reset like this it will um it will